Hello, new wave of British heavy metal.com here again. It's today is the 30th of January 2021. Before we get into which find, if I may make the usual opening request for a favor, and that's if you would please subscribe to the channel, that would be excellent indeed. Right then, which find who's old like me that remembers the that, that remembers this band from the uh, the, the good old new wave of bit shabby metal days around about 1980ish which find uh, again man an, another of those many many bands from back then that were well touted well talented and and it, it unfortunately didn't work out for them and give them hell is is their first album i think that came out 1980ish and it, it was a monster at the time still is today 40 well coming up 41 years later uh, it, it marked them out as something special I, I play this album pretty much all the time even today and it never never ceases to be anything but marvelously enjoyable it's that little bit different sure it's it's no wabam, it's heavy it's hard it's punchy and, and all that kind of stuff it, it's it's got all the sabbath style riffs it, it's got your judas priest style influences it's got a bit of prog in there some of it's are even a bit rush like from from that time it's a bit dark a bit brooding a bit doomy it, it's got a lot it, it's got a lot make no mistake at all and uh, even if you listen to it i challenge you yes to listen to it and spot the riff in there in, in one of the songs that sounds uncannily like one of the most iconic rock riffs of all time that wasn't written for a few years after which find on on this album so th there's a little challenge for you to see if you can spot that so it, it is a phenomenal album no, no mistake the production's a bit muddy uh, you know the, the, and, and whatnot because still um, unfortunately for which find that they were signed to a small label at the time and perhaps money wasn't free flowing and, and that that comes across a little bit but it, it, it doesn't detract from from the enjoyment of it at all marvelous and la landmark and wobbum album excuse me and still marvelous to this very day if you don't remember which find or you don't know them so they, they were one of the original uh, founding fathers if you like the, the new wave of british heavy metal they, they, they formed in uh, mansfield nottinghamshire uk mid 70s did all the usual stuff worked hard gigged hard bagged some tasty support slots in fact if i remember rightly one of the earlier ones was supporting thin lizard but anyway um uh, that might be right or wrong i can't remember correct me if i am wrong and uh you know they, they went from there say undoubtedly talented as, as shown by this this debut album and said that the, the probably the main issue at the time not only was the the stiff competition but being signed to a small label w without too much financial or marketing support and i believe again if my memory is is serving me correctly big labels were interested in in signing which find but the independent they were on would, wouldn't release them from the contract and uh, and big companies disappeared well because that's what they do isn't it but which find undeterred that they slogged on without that major label support a few more albums came out lineup changes and, and all the rest of it and then which find just faded away probably around about 83 84 ish which is a shame because everything they put out in addition to give them hell is is excellent I think that there was a reunion at some point probably about a decade ago and uh, and whatnot andrew colt andrew andrew colton in fact the, the original bass player if you get a chance check out one of his projects uh malleus that that's excellent stuff as well but which find unfortunately it, it looks like you know they, they're never going to come back but what they did put out particularly give them hell marvelous marvelous stuff um give them hell is somewhat difficult to find on cd these days if, if you're like me that still prefers an old an, an old-fashioned physical product but there is an excellent box set out divine victims which is which finds output from 1980 to 1983 and as i'm recording this that's available for a very reasonable price around about 15 quidish on amazon 
so uh, th there's something you can get you know a few albums for a few quid and it's excellent stuff particularly I know I keep coming back to it but particularly give them help if you would like to check out Divine Victims that the box set there's a link in the description straight to that on Amazon so you can do that link to the blog post on the website if you'd like to read that and as always please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that'd be excellent thanks for watching thanks for listening and as always take care